Hi, my name is Chris Bosley. This is the 24th of April, 2017, 2.56 a.m. Uh, so, I made a video on the 21st, uh, and it had to do with uh, a back door. So, hackernews.com uh, wrote an article about this application, and uh, com adapts for sysop. Uh, and uh, it's a back door into the. Oh, the neighbors are up. It's back three o'clock in the morning, and they they can't go to sleep when I'm uh, doing this stuff. So uh, it seems like uh, it seems like they've picked up exactly where Games Foolfully left off. Games Foolfully was a hacker here. I think uh, he was an Anglican Bible College student at this Bible College. This building is owned by the Bible College. And he used to hack our machines all the time. And every time I got up and did anything with a phone or with a computer, he would get up. It's almost like he was monitoring. Uh, so uh, this, back to the point, um, they've been up three or four times going to the bathroom. But um, sometimes I wonder if they've got a system in there monitoring any device usage. So here we have an application um, running underneath upgrade sys, uh, adopts photo sysop, and uh, hackernews.com says that that's uh, um, a backdoor into the system, a, com uh, a pathway that allows complete administration of the system. And when I say complete, I mean anything. Um, add applications, remove applications, install applications, reconfigure the phone, even reprogramming the phone. So complete administration. That's exactly what um, I noticed on all of our computers since we moved to this building and this Anglican environment and um, on all of our phones. Now, the, the problem is that the, um, the people doing this, the students, were malicious and nasty about it. It was like a joke. Uh, they were destroying our phones and computers and they thought it was funny. Uh, they would give each other high fives. They would laugh about it. Um, they would break something on the system. Like for example, they would make a, an external hard drive read only. So I couldn't write to it and then they'd laugh and, and yeah, we got them. I could hear them in the next room. So, you know, they're pretty malicious and pretty nasty. So, uh, I showed you that um, backdoor was running under upgrade system, and the Chinese company says that it's only there to facilitate uh, monitoring or of Chinese users, uh, so whatever. And also, read the article if you have time, because it's really interesting. One of the things they say is that every 72 hours, all whole bunch of data is out automatically transferred back to China. Now, I'm not pointing the finger at the Chinese because I know that the Anglican Church is doing it the same, and I know the Australian government is doing the same thing, and I know there's students here at this more theological Bible student college that are doing exactly the same, and they've got Asian friends, so I have no doubt that their Asian friends are showing these tricks. Their friends from China and Indonesia probably know the have know these tricks and I have no doubt that they're um, teaching these Anglicans how to do this and the Anglicans are passing it on to their friends in the government I have absolutely no doubt so launcher is the other application that's that was is triggered and what I mean by that is when I go and press radio when I turn the radio on it's an airplane mode almost all the time also, I don't know how they're connecting to their phone because I have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth turned off. So they're either modif modifying my GUI so it makes it appear as if the devices are turned off when really they're on and they're accessing them. Or they're accessing the phone in another way using an in-out system that uh, is kind of secret, like a backdoor into the hardware. And I think all these devices have a backdoor into the hardware. I make other videos about it too. I removed all my wireless cards and all my Bluetooth cards. And um, and uh, after I, there, see, you saw it, it just populated. And that's because the radio turned on. 
No, I think there's a backdoor into hardware because I made I removed all the wireless cards and all the Bluetooth cards and all my laptops and these people are still accessing them. They deny it. And then you know that I think what they do is they get third party people that move into this place and then they say, Oh, it could be anybody and then they get somebody else to hack in a similar way and then they they attempt well they're a red herring, but they're attempting to provide deniability for the Anglican students that were here because you can't you can't admit that the Anglican students were hacking. Okay, uh, here is the upgrade system. It's it's on now and it's got data and the reason it was because I turned the radio on. So the radio turning on turns on upgrade system and populates it with data. And don't forget that upgrade system is has underneath it working within its framework that backdoor that you know that uh, has been placed in this phone. Now the Chinese PR guy for that comp for this ZTE phone, which is what this phone is, it's a ZTE, said that uh, no American phones have, uh, you know, no American phones have this backdoor installed. It's just for just for the Chinese. However, this phone is uh, this was f bought in an Australian store. Uh, Woolworths in Asheville I, uh, this phone was bought uh, this is Australia so um, they're doing it here in Australia because the back I just showed you the, the back door and I think that the Anglicans are using this so the Anglicans know about this back door and I, I think that they're using this to configure the phone it's fair I, I like I said many times I think the Anglican I think that Chinese people and Asians that have influence in the technical select sectors that know about these tricks, they're, they're sharing it with their friends in the church to get a leg up. A little bit of back scratching going on there because the Anglican church is extremely influential and powerful within Australia. And the Chinese people that are doing this know because they're business people, they're connected. The Anglican church is huge in Australia. And I think that they're sharing this information with the Anglican Church, and the Anglican Church uh, works in conjunction with Australian government to create laws where they can use this, for example. Far-fetched? Well, for example, no, it's not. Because the Australian government, last year, in 2016, published on the ABC radio that they wanted to define what a phone was, what a cell phone was, what a network was, what a computer was. So if they define all these devices, they provide a framework for what the devices are and then they also provide a framework for what is legal and illegal access of those devices so then they just create laws that allow them to uh, to, uh, to access these devices without being um, without breaching uh, law or the legal system another thing the Anglicans are really big on is ethics so we're gonna go back um, to uh, apps here and I'm going to show you uh, what happens when I turn the radio off. I made another video about this but I'm just doing this so you don't have to go there. Um, so it's always good to have duplicates. Um, maybe the Anglicans will hack my <laughs> Google account. So here this is on. I'll turn this off and I'll stop this. And uh, I'll go down to upgrade. This it should be off because I did that previous to going over and showing you what the phone was. So let's just go down and make sure it's good. Launcher three is zero. So when I turn the radio off, there's no service. I'll turn it off. What's going to happen is launcher does not react. It's not triggered, but upgrade system does react it is triggered so there you go it gains 92 kilobytes of data and it starts so um, um, launcher does not start launcher remains off when I disable the radio when I enable the radio the launcher turns on when I disable the radio it does not get triggered so there's autom this that I'm just showing you that I've done nothing to this phone. This is as bought except for the modifications the Anglicans have made to it. The Anglicans and their friends and their third party friends are trying to cover up right there. Uh, you know, 
packing. So this is configured this way. So the radio turns on launcher and turns on um, upgrade sys. Upgrade sys has back doors running within it. Now, when I made that video on the 21st about what I had just said about upgrade sys having a back door within it, photo adopts photo sysop. Uh, as um, documented within the article at hackernews.com. After I did that, I turned on the I went to sleep, had a whatever, I will use, turned on the phone again, and, and I looked at all these apps and they were all running. It's like the phone, they reconfigured the phone. Instead of having four stop grayed out, it, it was on as if the application was running, and yet it's disabled. Now, uh, what I mean by that is, we'll look at Android Sysop WebView. You see how it's running now? Now, it's disabled, but it's running. Now, why is it running? Because just before I did this video, pardon me, I burped. Just before I did this video, I took a screenshot. And it was off. Now, the reason it's running is because I turned the screen capture program on, and it started it up. But I don't know why it started up with the screen capture program because the application is disabled. So the application is disabled, but the screen capture program started up. Why is that? Because now it's running. And uh, I don't understand why it's running the, the, unless uh, the application has root op, a root command over the sys view or over the system web view. And that means that um, my screen capture um, application overrides my disabling the web view. So this is disabled and it should not run. And yet here we see it's running because the screen capture program started it up. And I think that just in the same way that I've disabled all these other applications, I think that when I they reconfigured the, pro, the app there, I made that video on Launcher and Upgrade Sys, and I, I, I said that the Anglicans and their affiliates and their friends here at, at the, in this building and in surrounding buildings at this at this Bible College were, were using that back door to hack the phone. And uh, after I made that video, all of these lit up and they all started in the same way that uh, this Android system web view started. So now if I stop this Android system with you, my screen capture is going to stop and I'm not going to have a usable. What's going to happen is it's going to cut the video off and I'm not going to have a usable file because the file will not have an ending header or an ending. At the end of the file there won't be code saying the file's over and uh, my application that I used to watch the video will say there uh, there's no end of file can't find the end of file and it won't be able to run it I would have to dock it or I'd have to edit it with a hex editor and, and write that find out what the editing what the ending is for the file and then edit it in manually into the file manually with a hex editor so I'm not going to stop that right now but um, all these other applications uh, were running the, when I first used this phone and now they're stopped so that shows that there is an administration, a remote administration of this phone in direct relation to my video about the back door and about the Anglicans running at the back door.